everyone so okay i'm just going to warn you that this video is going to be tremendously long because i still don't have a decent editing software so you're going to have to just see everything in real time as i do it and this is my everyday makeup routine okay so the first thing that i do is after moisturizing obviously is use this max prep and prime in radiant yellow um, I only recently bought this because I haven't actually got a primer, obviously, before then. But you just literally put this all over your face and it gets your face ready for a beautiful makeup that we're going to apply. So, yeah. No, I didn't buy this before. I've been wanting a nice primer for a while. But, obviously, because Christmas has been and, and um, everybody's got paid rubbish in December um, I decided that I'd treat myself afterwards and it only came a couple of days ago so there you go that's on there so you just let that sink in a little tiny bit and then I've got a choice of two different foundations so the first one is for more of um, I don't know, it's a MAC Studio Sculpt and this is in the shade NW20. This is the one that I've been using for a while now because my skin gets really dry. Um, this one's quite good for it. And the other one that I have is the Studio Sculpt again but it's in the shade NC20 and this is a little bit lighter. Um, I like to use it when I'm feeling a bit more porcelain. Um, so yeah you get this and I'm just gonna go ahead and just pop some of it I mean you don't need a lot I mean it looks like I'm putting on a lot here and I've probably put on too much but <clears throat> I had that for Christmas off my boyfriend so that can go back in his little box and then I'm gonna use my Mac 190 SE to blend that into my face sorry I'm trying to do it like super quick so you can see and not get bored because who wants to watch a 20 minute video not me unless it's like someone interesting which clearly isn't me um so you pop this all onto your face i obviously i really need to clean my brushes as well Ugh. And I've just coloured my hair as well, that's why my face is incredibly red and um, pink in patches because who doesn't get colour on their head when they colour their hair? Not me. I need to get that all around my piercing there. You probably won't be able to tell a lot of difference because the lighting that I have in my room is absolutely shocking. I mean, I could open the curtain, that would probably help. But then you'll have to see the actual horrific state of my face. <laughs> and I'm not sure I'm willing to do that just yet. Okay, so that is on... Oh my god, what is that? That is on my face pretty damn well. I'm going to just cover up that little bit of pink there. And just, yeah, that's it. On. Just move it up. Right, then the next thing that I'm going to do... I'm just going to open this curtain. I mean, it's snowing outside, so that's just made it even worse. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is to use my... Where's my powder gun? Oh, there it is. Use my MAC Mineralize Powder. This is Skin Finish Natural um, and it's in the shade NW20. So I'm going to take my powder brush by number 7 and just powder on my face. I'm just under here. Believe it or not, I can manage to do this in 15 minutes at 5 o'clock in the morning, just rushing before work. If I've got a light, if I can be by there. Otherwise, I look haggard. And that's never a good look, is it really? When you have to say hello to about 7,000 people a day. Okay, so that's basically the f found uh, the powder on my face. Oh, poo, I forgot to put... That's what I was going to do. Normally, 
I use this, this matte, um, mineralized concealer. Um, but obviously I've forgotten you can't put liquid over powder really because that would be stupid. Next thing I'm going to use is the Urban Decay Flushed Palette. And this has got a bronzer, a highlighter and a blush inside it. But I just use the, blush, uh, the bronzer. So I'm going to take my MAC 129 SE brush and just try and contour my face. I mean, I'm not an expert at all in any means, and I don't know if I put too much on or if I don't put enough on or if I just look like an umpa lumpa with some like, or a tiger, but with orange stripes instead of black. And then you go in the front, down the side, if you're feeling brave, and then you go again the other side. And this is to make your face look smaller and more rounded, tiny cheekbones. I'll put, I'll put too much on. Okay, maybe this is a how not to do your makeup. And come down here. Mm. Okay, oh my God, look at that. Oh, it won't look that bad later, I promise. Okay, so. Once you've destroyed your face, the next thing I use is MAC uh, blusher and this is in Mocha. I've just got to use a little cheap brush that I've had for ages to put this on. And you just go ahead and pop your blush on. I like to use a lot of blusher, I like to use a lot of everything to be honest, as you can probably tell. So that goes on that side. Smile. This goes on this side. Oh my god, look at the day of my face. Okay, so that's done there. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to get some more of my translucent mineralized powder. And I'm just going to get rid of a little bit of that because that is ridiculous. Just blend it together as well. So it doesn't look like you've got loads of lines on your face because that wouldn't look very nice at all, would it? Okay, okay, I'm looking a little bit more human now. So the next thing that I do is going to be my eyes. And what I like to do is take my Naked One palette and apply with a normal brush. Where are you? Where is it gone? Oh well, I'll just use this one. Um, with a normal brush, I'm going to use Sin. It's a nice little shimmery, pinky colour. And I'm just going to put that all over the top of my eye. And again the other side. Okay, so that's on my eyes right now. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is take my number seven blending brush and MAC eyeshadow in Cran... Oh, I forget where the camera is. Cranberry. So take that, put a bit on the end, put it in the corner, in like a little triangle. Okay, so you look like this now. Um, now what I want to do is take that off the brush and I don't have a clue how to do this. Like I've watched so many videos on how to blend eyeshadow and I'm just really bad for some reason. Even with the right brush, I'm still really bad. So I'm just going to try and blend that in. It just seems to spread it out more though for me. Okay, I'll just keep going. If anyone has any advice to give me, but that would be great because, like I say, I'm, I'm willing to learn more. Okay, so that looks like that right now, which is quite abysmal. 
So what I'm going to do is go in and take with the same brush, Virgin, from my Naked palette, which is the creamy brownie white. And then I'm going to go on the top here, right at the top, and blend that out a bit more. Right up. I can't really tell what I've got any on. Oh god, this is a disaster. But let's go with it, let's go with it. So you blend it and blend, 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 blend. So now you don't. See, that one looks alright. Sort of. Okay, what I'm going to do is take some more cranberry, put that back in. There, here we go, cooking with gas now. Blend that up. That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm talking about. Right, that's going in there. And that's where we're staying. Right, that's what's happening. That's what we're that's what we're looking like today. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is take an angled brush and um, that's not an angled brush. Where's my angled brush? Gone? Where's that gone? I had it yesterday. Oh, it's on the it's on the floor. Take an angle brush and go in with some dark horse, which is a dark brown. It's a little bit shimmery, but it's fine. It'll do. And I'm just going to go over my eyebrows. So it actually looks like I've got eyebrows. And not that I've not got any, obviously. Or she wouldn't be doing it. Okay, so that's my eyebrows done, and that's how much time I spend on them because I'm not really that bothered. Okay, <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is take a, um, I don't know what you'd call it, I guess it's another angled brush, but it's a straight one, and it looks like that. And I'm going to go and get the cranberry, put some on the end, and put this underneath my eye right on the, the lash line okay so that goes there Yeah, that'll do. Um, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is take my... Uh, where's it gone? Uh, Natural Collections Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm going... This is, gonna, this is the, the hardest bit. Ready? Very thinly. as close as you can get to your waterline oh, no no to your lash line oh my god I should never like <clears throat> and then just lined it a little bit, as you can probably not tell. But we'll go ahead and do the other side. Mm. Oh God, it's so tense. Mm. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so you've got like a really thin and then a little point. Oh my god, this is so hard to do on the camera. Okay, that'll do. That's what it looks like. Then, the last thing that I'm going to do is take my MAC Zoom Fast Black Mascara in a black mascara and then put that on. I don't like putting mascara on. Okay, oh, we'll put some on the bottom, why not? My eyelashes are really long on the bottom, so I don't know whether it looks stupid or whether it's like a desirable look. Okay, so basically, um, that's what I look like. Oh no! Last thing is the Max. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, where have you gone? Of course, it's down here. Mac satin finish lipstick, and that is in the shade Viva La Glam. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna look like today. I might just put a quick little. Um, down the side of my nose so it doesn't look so massive I can't really tell in this light I'm afraid but now my nose doesn't look so big this is what I look like Hope you enjoyed watching and I'm sorry if you didn't and I'm sorry that this is 18 minutes long but I'll see you when I open my pink parcel and I hope you have a good day uh, see you later bye